right, so this is the new setup I've got going on. There we go. Basically, I moved my table from back there to there. I moved my bed from up here to back there. Now I have a table, I mean a chair, and my storage is back there. Is back there. So, and under the, the bed. But basically, I'm still figuring it out, guys. Let me get in here real quick. Basically, I don't know if... Okay, so what I'm thinking is taking away the stow-and-go seats. I want to... Here's my mom. I want to take out the stow-and-go seats and then make that storage under there. And maybe not have my table permanent. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't mind it here, but I don't know if I want to just, because it's a foldable table, so I don't know if I just want to fold it, put it back up, or if I want to uh, have storage right here, because I have little tubs that I could put right there. So I'm not sure what I want to do, but I know for sure that I want to cut these in half, so you can only be able to have this here um the these little under the bed containers yeah so cut these in half like up to here so i could put these there and so whenever i take the stone and go seats out i want to extend the bed back so what i'm saying is this back here where i have storage at i want to take the stone and go seats out and have the storage under because this right here and these bins are just prepping stuff so you know it's like extra hygiene extra this extra that so i can put that under and like you know i can make this whole thing right here into bed so i'll have so much more room does that make sense guys and cut these in half my frame cut those in half and i have to still uh make a plan for where to hang my clothes because right here where i have those well actually i have a handle right here too because what i had did was um i hung my clothes from up here so but like the, the back ones so i'm pretty sure i can do it up here too i don't see why not but yeah so that's what yeah, I might hang those up there. Yeah, so I'm just figuring it all out, guys. Figuring it all out. This is what it looks like from the back. So, yeah, I still have, you know, my totes and all of this. All of this is extra stuff. So, like, because, you know, um, I I don't know. I'm not a, pre I'm not a, what's it called? A minimalist. My mom, she was telling me about... Is called an essentialist and you know it's, it's a lot of preppers they have the most minimalistic setups the most you know minimal stuff but they still prep or have you know things that they need so I guess I don't know I guess that's what I am <laughs> I don't know but see what I'm saying like I could continue my bed just this little extra space right here I can continue it and I'll have so much more space to sleep so, and plus, I still have a whole bunch of space over here. Whole tons of space. But this is what it looks like from back here. Let me back up without slipping because it's still icy. This is what that looks like. And actually, what I did, because I didn't record this, but what I did was I took the trifold mattress and I took the, you know how I cut one of the squares in half? Well, I took that other half out, so it's only two squares, and it fits perfectly in the back here, and it is more narrow back here, but I have just enough space, so I recommend if you're, if you're 5'4", or 5'5", five, five and up, don't, you, this won't work for you back here, you have to go up there, but if you're more than, if you're uh, taller than 5'7", I, I recommend you don't, 
do that either. You just do the, the long ways, Ben, you know, on the sideways. But see how close it comes? I could totally stretch out, have my pillow there, pillow there, and it's good. This is what it looks like from this side. I have my table right here, my sleeping bag, and I'm still going to give y'all a tour. So I might just finish it or make it, you know, make my bed and everything like this, give y'all a tour. Or, you know, whenever I'm finished with it, give y'all a tour. I'm not sure. What do you guys prefer? You want a tour of, like, with all my stuff in it? Because right now I don't have anything. Whoa. <laughs> I hardly have anything in here. But, yeah, for sure. You know, I'll put my stuff in here and I'll totally give you guys a tour. But, thank you guys for watching. And subscribe, like, let me know what you thought about the video. What should I improve on, you know? uh what what should what other videos should i do i'm thinking i'm thinking i don't know i have a list of videos um but right now i'm kind of focused on like building my building my setup so yeah but thank you guys